Flutter, you looking at? This is Dave Osborne from KidsGuitarAcademy.com and welcome to our free holiday edition guitar tutorial on how to play Hall of the Mountain King. So we figured since we're just a few days away from Halloween that... Okay, that was weird. All I said was Halloween... Okay, I, I guess I can't say that. So... Since we're just a few days away from that holiday where we dress crazy and eat a pound of candy, I'm gonna show you how to play Hall of the Mountain King. Now, this lesson was actually taken from lesson number 10 of the Kids Guitar Academy Ultimate Beginner Guitar Course. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link below. And I'll also put a link to some free guitar tabs that you can download and print out. So anyway, have a great holiday and enjoy this guitar tutorial on how to play Hall of the Mountain King. Really? All right, let's learn Hall of the Mountain King. So we're going to start by playing the sixth string open. Then that second finger is going to come down to that second fret, followed by the third finger on the third fret. Then we're going to cross over to the 5th string, play it open, then go to the 5th string 2nd fret, moving diagonally down to the 3rd fret of the 6th string, and then returning to the 5th string 2nd fret. Now this diagonal movement that we just did from the 2nd fret to the 3rd fret and back is the first of three diagonal movements in phrase 1. So the first one has us starting on the 2nd fret of the 5th string, moving diagonally to the 3rd fret of the 6th string, and then back. Then we're going to move down one fret to the 1st fret of the 5th string, moving diagonally down to the 2nd fret of the 6th string, and back. Then we're going to play the 5th string open, moving to the 1st fret of the 6th string, and then back. That's a good idea to just practice just those diagonal movements since this phrase is played so many times in this song. All right, so here's phrase one played slow. Now let's take a look at phrase two. You'll notice that phrase two starts the exact same way as phrase one. We play the sixth string open, followed by the second fret, then the third fret, cross over to the fifth string, play it open, then do your first diagonal movement from the second fret of the fifth string to the third fret of the sixth string and back, but at this point, we want to jump up to the 4th string, 2nd fret, play that note, then play the 4th string open, move down to the 5th string, 2nd fret, 6th string, 3rd fret, return to the 5th string, 2nd fret, and lastly play the 4th string open. Now when you look at that last bar of phrase 2, you'll notice that the notes you play in the first half of the bar are the same as the notes you play in the second half of the bar, just in reverse order. So here's phrase two played slow. All 
All right. Well, now that you've learned the first section of Hall of the Mountain King, let's have a quick memorization session. This is where I put the tablature for what you just learned back on the screen and have you pause the video so you can play through it as many times as you need until you feel you have it memorized. And then I'll take the tablature off the screen so you can test yourself. Like I've been saying, memorization leads to mastery. And the less attention you have to give to reading the music means the more attention you can give to playing it. So let's go ahead, put the tablature back on the screen. We've got phrases one and two. Notice we have repeat marks at the end of the staff. So once you play through this one time, you're gonna to wanna to repeat it through a second time. We'll go ahead and pause the video so that you can practice playing through this as many times as you need. All right, let me go ahead and take the tablature off the screen. Go ahead, pause the video so you can test yourself. Perfect. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into the second section of Hall of the Mountain King. In the second section of Hall of the Mountain King, we're going to move from playing just on the low strings to playing on the high strings. Not only that, but we're going to be moving from the first position to the second position. This entire section is played in the second position, which means the first finger is going to be lined up with the second fret, and the second finger with the third fret, and the third finger over the fourth fret. Now, we've been used to playing in the first position, so you can expect that as you're playing through this section, the hand is gonna keep trying to wander back into the first position. Focus on keeping it steady and make sure that the thumb is staying put in the back. As long as the thumb stays in place, the finger should as well. Okay, so as we begin phrase three, you'll notice that the first finger that plays is going to be the first finger on the second fret of the second string. So get him right above that fret and ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna start by playing the second string open followed by that first finger on the second fret, and then the third finger on the fourth fret. So all of those notes were on the second string. But now we're gonna cross over to the first string, play it open, move the first finger up to the second fret of the first string, cross back over to the fourth fret of the second string, and then return to the second fret on the first string. Now in the second bar of phrase three, we're gonna to go to the third fret, which we're going to do with the second finger. Now we've been used to using the third finger on that third fret, since we're mostly playing in the first position. But since we're in the second position, we're going to be using the second finger. We're gonna play that third fret note, lift off to play the string open, return the finger back to the third fret, and then go one fret down to the second fret on the first string, cross over to the fourth fret of the second string, and return back to the second fret. So here's phrase three played slow. You'll notice that almost the entire phrase was played with the first and third fingers. Okay, now when you look at phrase four, you'll notice that it's almost exactly the same as phrase three. In fact, only the very ending is different. So we again start on the second string, play it open, go to the second fret, fourth fret, cross over to the first string, play it open, play the second fret on the first string, Cross back to the second string, fourth fret. Return to the second fret on the first string. Go to the third fret on the first string. Lift off to play it open. Return to the third fret. And then our last note, the second fret on the first string. And this is a half note, so you wanna ring out for two beats. Okay, so here's phrase four played slow.
So let me put these two phrases together and play through the entire second section of this song. Phrase three. Phrase four. Okay, so now that you've learned the second section of Hall of the Mountain King, let's have a quick memorization session. Let me go ahead and put the tablature back on the screen. We've got phrases three and four here. Pause the video and play through them as many times as you need. Perfect. Let me go ahead and take the tablature off the screen. Go ahead and test yourself. Pause the video. See if you can play through it without relying on the tab. All right, let's go ahead and get into the last section of Hall of the Mountain King. So let's get into the last section of Hall of the Mountain King. Now the first thing I want you to notice is that we have a pair of alternate endings. Now we talked about alternate endings in Lesson 8 where we learned the spy. But just to remind you, these two endings are telling you that you're going to play through this section twice. The first time you play through it, you'll play ending number one then you'll repeat back, play through it a second time, but you'll skip ending number one and play ending number two in its place. Now, I'll play through this section in just a minute to make sure you got that, but there's something else I want you to notice. This section is almost exactly like the first section. You start out with phrase number one, then you play phrase number two, which includes the first ending. Now you repeat back to phrase number one, and then when you play phrase number two a second time, you play the second ending instead of the first ending, which changes the phrase. So we're gonna call that phrase number five. Now since this is the only phrase that we haven't played yet, let's take a look at it. So phrase number five starts out the same way as phrase number two. Sixth string open, second fret, third fret, fifth string open, second fret, back down to the sixth string third fret, fifth string second, fourth string second fret, and then here we go to the first fret on the fourth string, diagonally move down to the second fret of the fifth string, back to the fourth string, and then you'll notice the small dash between the one and the four. That's the symbol for a slide. We're gonna play the first fret and then while keeping the finger pressed down, we're gonna slide up to the fourth fret. So we're gonna drag that finger from the first fret up to the fourth fret. Now you don't wanna pick the fourth fret since it's going to be sounded by the slide itself. Now after you do that slide, you move the finger back two frets to the second fret for your ending note. Now since this last bar is the only bar that's different, I would recommend practicing just this bar a few times, especially since you're trying to get used to that slide. All right, so let me go ahead and play through this last section. We start out with phrase one. Take our repeat back to phrase one. Now we go with phrase five. So now that you've worked through the song, it's time for the fun part to practice playing along with it using the backing tracks. I've got two different speeds of backing tracks for you to practice playing along with. So make sure that guitar's in tune, and let's give it a shot. One, 
two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. If you enjoyed this lesson and would like to improve your guitar playing at a much faster rate, be sure to check out the Kids Guitar Academy Ultimate Beginner Guitar Course by clicking the link below. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss our next free lesson. In the meantime, enjoy your new song and I'll look forward to seeing you soon.